Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at activity 2.1, Keep Me in the Loop. This tutorial is going to be a little bit of a project introduction to kind of get us ready before we move into the actual coding and modifying portion of this activity. Some of the things we'll be looking at today are the resources that are going to be needed, our learning objective, as well as some of the vocabulary that we will be talking about. The resource that you will need for this activity is your A21 Keep Me in the Loop AIA file. That file will need to be downloaded and then imported into MIT App Inventor. Our learning objective is to basically develop and apply abstractions for redundant code. So we are going to take a look at what redundant code is or redundancy and how to create an abstraction and place that abstraction into a procedure. The vocabulary that we're going to need to have an understanding for is redundancy, for loops, conditional statements, parameters, header, local variable, iteration, procedures, and abstractions. So looking forward, let's take a look at what redundancy actually looks like. So here we have a flowchart from our activity 1.2 Amazing Algorithms. And in this activity, we were asked to create a flowchart that would get a bus to travel from school to the museum. There were three different routes that your bus was able to take. This example is route number two. And as you can see that we have several blocks of code or commands that will get our bus to get from the school to the museum. What we should also notice by this flowchart is that there is a bunch of what we call redundant code. That redundant code is highlighted in that green box. In those green boxes, you will notice that we see several commands that are the same or repeating and they are in a sequential order. This creates your code to be very long and can be confusing to the user. So what we want to do in this activity is basically remove that redundant code and create an abstraction and then take that abstraction and place it into a procedure. Now an abstraction basically means it's that it's the process of reducing the complexity by hiding unnecessary details to make it easier for us to think about a problem. The procedure is a set of code that performs an action and is considered to be a type of abstraction. So we're going to look at how we can create these procedures and abstractions and basically place them into what we call a for loop. Now your for loop is basically going to be a type of counter loop that's going to allow that redundant code to basically repeat over and over again based on the parameters that are set. So taking a look at this next part, what we're going to look at is what a for loop is and how it can be used in MIT App Inventor. So here you have a command which we call for each number. This is your for loop. And what you're going to notice is that it has three sets of parameters that we have to look at. You have the from, the to, and the by. Your range is set from the from to the to portion of that code. So basically we have from one to five. What that basically means is that we are starting at the number one and our loop is gonna count until we get to the number five. The by portion of this is telling us how many we're gonna count by. So in this case, we're gonna be counting by ones. So for example, my loop would be counting one, two, three, four, five. If we increase that by to two, then it would be counting by every other number. For most of the things we do, we're going to keep that counts by to a number one. You also have the do portion of this, and this is the action that you are going to be basically having be performed. In this case, we have a call move forward. This is a procedure block that's hiding that unnecessary information to get that bus to actually move. Now we will take a closer look at what that procedure looks like in our next tutorial. For now, we're going to kind of just focus on what that for block does and how we can utilize it. Now, keep in mind that this is basically what we call an iteration, and it's the execution of one pass of the loop. So in this case, we have basically five iterations. Your code is being run five times through that block in order to get it to perform what it needs to do. The local variable in this case, which is a variable that is only accessible inside this block of code, is that number block up there that you see in orange. That is where all the information is being stored to make sure that the loop is being performed accurately. 
So the next thing we want to take a look at is the loops in Inventor and just a little example of how this would actually look. So here you can see we have a for loop and we have our from and to from a one to four and we're counting by ones. Our do is going to get our bus to move forward. So what we need to understand is how many blocks would the bus move forward using this loop. So here you can see that we have our school bus located at the school and based on this counter loop, we need to be able to understand that if I run this block of code, how many blocks would that school bus actually move? If we run just a call move forward by itself, our bus would only move one block. But by placing in this for loop, we can basically see that we're starting from the one and our bus should be moving a total of four places. So here you can see that my bus has completed four iterations or moved four blocks forward onto our chart. Now that's a huge difference of running just one block of code versus having to run four of these call forwards in a row, especially when you have several lines that need to be executed that are the same. So what we're going to look at with our procedures is this is just a quick little breakdown of what a procedure may look like and how we are hiding that unnecessary code. So remember that a procedure is basically a set of code that performs an action and is considered to be in a type of abstraction, whereas an abstraction is the process of reducing the, the code uh, and basically hiding any unnecessary information. Here we have a procedure, which is our called turn left. Inside of that procedure, we have all of this information that's being hidden. So what we've gone ahead and done is taken that procedure that we have and we are hiding it so that we can now see. So take a look on your right hand side. You can see we've created this procedure and inside of that procedure we have all of this code. Now this is not something that, that your typical user really needs to see. All they need to see is that when we call the bus to turn left is that it turns left. It doesn't need to see all the code behind the scenes that are gonna trigger that bus to make that rotation of 90 degrees. So in this case, we've created a procedure, which is basically our abstraction, that is hiding that information from the user to make it more easily understandable. Now in our next activity that we're gonna look at is we're gonna take a look at all of the bits and pieces of the code that are already given to us for activity 2.1. So please stay tuned for our next video tutorial on how to go ahead and program our activity 2.1.